I'd like to welcome everyone to the first moon office. Sure, there's going to be a few kinks to work through, but no one ever said being a pioneer was easy. <clears throat> now, wait till you see this view. Pretty nice, huh? How are we going to get our shipments to our customers? Don't worry. Mr. Stevens took care of it. You bet I did, Bill. In 1971, Fred Smith started a parcel distribution company called Federal Express, today known as FedEx. The idea came from a term paper he wrote during his time at Yale. Initially, FedEx was all ground shipments until 1973 when he inherited $4 million from his late father. Along with $91 million in venture capital, he purchased a fleet of 14 Dassault Falcon jets to innovate the distribution process to include air shipments for overnight and two-day deliveries. Due to heavy federal regulation on air freight routes, points of destination were limited. In the mid-1970s, FedEx ran into financial issues and were unable to secure a loan with a lender. In an extreme attempt to stabilize the company, Fred Smith turned to the blackjack tables in Las Vegas, where he won a $27,000 hand. Using this money, he was able to keep the company afloat. It was not until President Carter signed and put into effect the Air Deregulation Act of 1978 that FedEx's innovation and distribution could truly shine. This act removed federal control on air routes and schedules, creating the opportunity for Fred Smith to adopt the hub-and-spoke system for his expanding fleet. FedEx and all parcel services currently use this system. Today, Memphis, Tennessee acts as a super hub for FedEx and its worldwide operations. This animated map is a two-day time lapse of FedEx aircraft operating around the U.S. The black figures represent each aircraft's movement from the smaller hubs to the largest hub in Memphis. FedEx currently has the largest civil fleet in the world comprised of 672 aircraft. These aircraft reach 375 destinations in 220 countries every day. FedEx plans to expand their international operations in the future by setting up multiple divisions in the different hemispheres. Part of this expansion will include the new Airbus 380 aircraft that is capable of carrying more freight in less time. This expansion can help FedEx reach full globalization 